TV without being shocked by an example of violence caused by religious intolerance. Sadly, history repeats itself. And today, I'd like to focus on one specific trend in history that repeats in very disturbing ways, religious persecution. I've chosen five historical events that I believe will illustrate this tragic cycle. While debate on the historical accuracy of the Exodus will always exist, this biblical story is my first example of religious persecution and intolerance. Because Judaism was one of the earliest monotheistic religions, this led to the Jews being isolated, enslaved, and oppressed for their minority beliefs. From the very beginning, humans showed an inability to tolerate belief systems different from their own. If we fast forward in time, we come to ancient Rome, where a polytheistic culture worshiped gods such as Zeus and Athena, and where the newborn belief system of Christianity threatened the Romans. Christians quickly became victims of misunderstanding, fear, and persecution, so much that it actually became a sport to watch Christians being fed to lions in the Roman Colosseum. Here, religious persecution actually became an extreme form of entertainment for those who could not tolerate a belief system other than their own. Fast forward again to the Crusades, a time when the Christians went from being the persecuted to the persecutors. The Holy Wars of the Middle Ages, or more commonly known as the or more commonly known as the Crusades, started with Pope Urban II's stated goal of restoring Christian access in holy lands in and near Jerusalem. In this span of time, thousands of Muslims were either killed or forced to convert because of their religious beliefs, and countless Christians died as well. Although this was not the first holy war, it was one of the longest, and it set a tragic precedence for others to follow. Centuries passed, and religious disagreements grew. By the 1930s, religious persecution had begun to take one of its ugliest turns. The rise of Nazism spawned a culture of extreme intolerance for many groups, most notably the Jews. Segregation, torture, and fear led to concentration camps, gas chambers, and ultimately the death of more than 6 million Jews. Incomprehensible as it is to us now, the Holocaust was another extreme reaction of one dominant religious culture to another and the cycle continued more horrifying than ever. One would think that such horror would be enough to force humanity to stop and think. Yet, as I stand here today, hatred and intolerance for those with different religious beliefs festers worse than ever in every corner of the world. ISIS has claimed the lives of many fellow Muslims along with the Christians and Jews they have made their enemies. ISIS's extremist interpretation of Islamic law has created a cruel, intolerant, and inhumane regime. So the cycle goes on. So the wheel of hatred continues to turn. Still, we judge others and are judged ourselves for what we believe. History repeats itself, and pain and suffering win over understanding and compassion once again. So the question is, why does this keep happening? Why do humans keep persecuting and hating each other? just because their God has a different name. History clearly shows us that nothing good can come from this my God is better than your God way of thinking. So why do we still do it? I believe that in some sad way, the answer lies in our human nature. We naturally tend to judge others who are different. And by doing this, we close our minds. We stubbornly stick to what we believe without the respect for the beliefs of others. How can our... How can we, as 21st century humans, break the cycle? How can our generation begin to heal these ancient wounds? First, as individuals and as a nation, we must open our minds. We must be willing to investigate and understand other religions and beliefs. If we could all shed our personal opinions for a single day, if we could all open our minds and our hearts and reject familiar stereotypes, what changes can we make happen? Education is key. If we manage to teach young people about the shameful history of religious intolerance, then they will see for themselves that nothing good has ever or could ever come from religious persecution. 
How can we teach new generations from an early age that just because someone does not believe in the same God as you, this does not mean you have the right to think less of them? By teaching about the genocides of the past, we can learn how to prevent genocides of the future and how to put an end to the ones happening today. We may not be able to fix the mistakes of our past, but through education, we can avoid making the same mistakes in our future. We are all human, no matter who we worship. And together, we can finally put an end to religious persecution and escape the cycle. Thank you.